I'll have a blue Christmas with this wool and then some green to contrast with this wool you'll be doing all right with your undyed and white but I'll have a blue and rainbow Christmas hello there yes they are getting sillier but you could have known that was going to happen. Now I'm actually recording this, uh, what day is it? Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon, which is why I'm wearing the same clothes as yesterday, because I have uh, an early start Thursday morning. And I'll be out all day Thursday, so I will take you with me. Today, Wednesday, or yesterday as you're watching this, future Liz will call this yesterday, I call this today, timey wimey words weird stuff anyway wednesday yes i had a ceremony extremely chilly today um very cold spent a lot of time standing around at uh, various ceremonies not always outside but still you can be for quite a while and it's it's a tad cold but then i can get in my car and warm up so it's it's not a problem it's just something i like to complain about Um, yeah, the ceremony went as well as it could. Um, yeah, family seemed happy with it. So that's, that's the best we can ask for, really. It is tough, kind of this time of year. And this is actually the first of my, no doubt, several annual It's Okay Not To Be Okay lectures. I'm, I'm early starting it this year. I just think this year in particular, a lot of people aren't having the, the holiday period they're expecting. They're missing people either temporarily or permanently. And it's just a bit grim. And if you're feeling a bit grim, you are absolutely allowed to do whatever you need to look after yourself, to take care of yourself and to to just get through it. And in some cases, that may be running away from it all, closing the door, not having any visitors, not doing anything remotely festive. If that's what you've got to do. That's what you've got to do. In other cases, you might be throwing yourself into it because that's how you're going to get through. Whatever works. Whatever works. Um, yeah. A nice buzzkill for you all on a Thursday morning. But it's true, you know, we've we've all got to get through things and people have people have had a rubbish year. And for some people it's like, yay for Christmas and for turn of the year, new year coming. Other people stuff that's happened to them this year is gonna have a long lasting effect. So whichever category you fall into, including the actually it was a bit of a pain but it was all right current category then just do what you got to do that's that's my philosophy for life do what you got to do <laughs> so thursday yes i have two uh funerals in the same town but with a bit of a gap in between i've got some shopping to pick up i really don't want to go too close to shops because i think they're going to be quite busy but I do have something that I've got to collect, so that I must do. And a few other bits and pieces. And the rest of the time I'll probably be sitting in my car. I think cafes and things are open again. I don't know how busy they'll be. I don't know how comfortable I will feel in a in a cafe. I'm not sure. Himself has um has been back to his favourite cafe. He had a breakfast yesterday morning um he checked on their facebook page to see that they were open and yes he and the dog went for breakfast so both very happy to have that bit of uh, routine restored so yes he's um he's content with that it, the place he goes to uh, is dog friendly obviously 
and it's quite a, a big room so they have spaced it out pretty well and it feels quite comfortable and safe. He seems to be getting quite a, a regular there. He sort of often has chats with the owner and sees how things are going. So, so yes, he and the dog have had their their first brekkie out. It was so late. I think it was more brunch than breakfast, but it doesn't matter. So that that's him. Um, and yeah, it's we've got to see what happens. Um, we've got you know five days over Christmas when we can all live life as if Covid didn't exist but by then we might have some people vaccinated certainly the most vulnerable people so who knows what the future will bring I can tell you that tomorrow it will bring another vlogmas probably another silly singing ditty wouldn't be unheard of would it Beyond that, I'm not making any predictions. Thank you to everyone who is commenting. Thank you to everyone who's joining in with the the craft along. And just thank you to everyone who watches and is there. Um, I really do appreciate it. It's it means a huge amount to feel as if we're we're part of a community. And whether that's virtually crafting together or just sharing daft jokes. Or just sharing the love of the craft that we do it's great so thank you for for being there for commenting for everything um, really means a lot um, I'll put some footage of uh, my journey home yesterday after this bit and yes there'll be a picture of the dog I know who the star of this vlogmas is really Yes, yeah, she's um, she is cute, and she knows it. We're we're currently um, reinforcing some training with her because she's getting a little bit cheeky, and we do spoil her. And I'm the first to say, if you don't train them, you can't blame them, you know. So if she's naughty, it's because we're letting her get away with things. So she has been a little bit cheeky and naughty recently. So we're we're just um, making her work a little harder for her treats and and reinforce some of the training messages um, for the moment then we'll kind of let it slide because she wants to cuddle us we want to cuddle her let's not pretend anything else <laughs> oh us and our pets eh? take care everyone thank you so much and i'll see you tomorrow bye bye